there are a lot of us at home who are wondering, why are you taking a political hit by having some of the individuals who sent these emails on your payroll when, in fact, they didn't do it on your watch, they did it before you hired them. Why haven't you cut them loose? Well, you make a very good point. But again, uh, the indicted, uh, suspended attorney general, you've heard months of hyperbole from her about these emails. And this comes at the convergence of sex, racism. Uh, you would think she was a champion against those. but. As you've stated and, and you know, clearly put out here, uh, this was just a reaction, a political vendetta of hers against Frank Fina uh, for his prosecution of Jerry Sandusky and then for her failure to prosecute uh, six elected Philadelphians for being on tape, audio and video, for taking bribes. And so when she didn't take those cases and it came out, all she had to say was that in her prosecutorial or professional discretion, she chose not to prosecute those cases. Instead, she said that they were racist and that the prosecutors and investigators were racist. For two years, I had to bite my tongue because I knew otherwise. But recently, a state rep entered a no-contest plea. She had entered a motion uh, for selective prosecution based on race, and we were able to show, and her attorney withdrew that and apologized because there was no racism involved in the prosecution. And because of that, I had to bite my tongue, but the documents all showed that the attorney general knew there was no racism and that for months, just for her own political vendetta, she'd been but Seth, using this but false Seth, narrative. If she sent, if she released these emails because of a vendetta, let's just accept for the purpose of this discussion that that was her motivation. The facts are Certainly. that the guys that you've hired sent these things. It's not like she created them out of whole cloth. So, you know, the, the city council has verted 13 to 2 to say to you, can these guys, and I would argue that to your political peril, you've kept them on your payroll. How come? Well, I believe in due process. You know, as an African-American, I want due process for everyone, not just uh, young African-American boys selling weed on a corner, but even white prosecutors. And so I had a very uh, systematic method of inve investigating what happened. And again, the emails are ignorant and just terrible that people would do this, but they weren't employees of mine. It happened while they worked at the attorney general's office. Two of these employees were just recipients. So we see now that for political vendetta and vengeance, the AG released these. I want all these emails released. The citizens of Pennsylvania deserve to know how far did this go? Was there any ex parte discussion between judges and prosecutors? We just can't have them released solely to attack three people. We need to see all one million of these emails, uh, even those between the attorney general and her sister that include these same topics. It's, it's, it's unfortunate. I think all Pennsylvanians need to know the full truth about all of these emails, not just a select few. Final question. Do you worry about the integrity of some of your prosecutions? I, I showed that fried chicken cartoon. I mean, if there's an African-American defendant being prosecuted by your office, including the individual who sent that out, doesn't he have a legitimate beef to say, look at how they view me? I mean, they view me in a discriminatory faction if they think it's funny where a white guy is wrestling two black guys for a bucket of fried chicken. Yeah, that's, you're exactly right. And there, it isn't funny. Um, and people often believe that the root of most criminal justice in Pennsylvania and America is racism. And to have the AG pour gasoline on that fire is terrible. What I've done, though, is more than the AG has done. I've taken those three. I've put them in parts of my office where they handle civil matters. They're not looking or evaluating active criminal cases. The AG has even promoted people in her office uh, who did the same things. And so I have to be uh, consistent. I have to also consider what will happen if I terminate people, will they sue the city of Philadelphia? But systemically, we're addressing those concerns. I've listened to city council and concerned members of the community and have taken them away from actively prosecuting criminal cases, but still using their more than, uh, I think, almost 60 decades combined of uh, legal experience still to help the citizens of Philadelphia advance the justice system. Bottom line, doesn't appear that you're, you intend to fire them. Well, you know, I continue to evaluate it. It's uh, an ongoing process. Life is dynamic. It's not static. If I get more information, I'll continue to make judgments that I think are most appropriate for the citizens of Philadelphia going forward. I have uh, changed uh, some of the process, and I've evaluated it, but, you know, I want to move forward and make sure the Philadelphians are safe. Uh, people don't stop me on the street really asking me about this. They ask me about stopping the gun violence uh, on our streets. Understood. Um, but it's, a, it's an ongoing process.